If you want to be in OU lore, you make plays in the OU Texas game, for sure. Nobody knows that better than Roy Williams, who 20 years ago became immortalized as Superman with his game-winning play at the Cotton Bowl. It's a great play, um, especially at the moment of the game and which game it was in. Um, it's a very memorable play. Um, it made a lot of people excited. I, hell, I'm just, I'm happy that I'm at the play, but more so, I'm just happy that we won the game. Okay, well, I do have the Superman play here okay. with us today, so I'm gonna give this to you. All right. Feel free to pause, however you, however you please. The video is ready to play up there. Okay. So pre-snap. So earlier in the fourth quarter. We call the same blitz that I did the Superman play on, and um, the running back, Brett Robin, the guy I jump over, he basically hits me in the lower region. Let's just say that. And it hurt. Coach Mike was like, don't leave your feet. I was like, yeah, I'm not going to leave my feet. Of course not. Watching it, I come up because I mistimed the, the uh, snap count. Then I back up, start up, start back, and I just take off. And then I just took the leap of faith. And um, I knew that if I didn't make that play, I probably would be dead because Mike Stoops is probably going to kill me. Williams got him on the blitz. Lehman on the pick. OU is going to win it again. I jumped, and it, I swear it felt, felt for it, like it was forever. And um, I, I um, grabbed the back of uh, Chris's shoulder pads, and I swipe at the ball, and then I see the ball flutter in the air. and. By the time I'm like, like flipping, and I see the ball and it just falls into Teddy's hands, and then boom, I hit the ground, and I seen Teddy walk it in, and I was like, yeah, we won, it's over. Um, um, and then I turned to Texas's fans and I put the horns down, and you know, I've said some other, probably some bad words, uh, but eff it, you know, we I don't like them. We looked everywhere for celebration footage of Roy Williams after the Superman play and couldn't find Roy with his teammates anywhere. Turns out he had a pretty good reason why. I honestly didn't want to go back to the sideline because I know Mike Soup was going to cuss me out because he told me not to jump. Uh, we do the kickoff and the very first play, Chris Sims throws the ball, tries to get it into him hot. I jump up and intercept the ball. And I'm like, Yes, interception. Then I'm walking, I see Coach Juice, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so, but and if you ever watch the, the replay after that interception, you can see Mike Stoops, he grabs him around the neck and he's like, good job, right? And then you can see him shake because it would it, pan to another thing and then come back to that and you see him shaking. And he's like, I told you not to effing jump. Yeah, that's that's the Superman. That's the inside and out to the Superman play and how it how it became what it was. Roy Williams stamped himself into the Sooner history books in a matter of seconds. This Saturday, the Sooners look for someone to step up and write the next chapter. Tyler DeLuca, Sooner Sports Pad.